What's up, YouTube? This is Calvin Bond from Bond Trucking coming to y'all with another video. On this video, I am at Mark's in Ohio. I'm gonna throw everything up there. You know how I, you know how I do it. You know how it works. But on this video, I never been here before. This is a distribution hub. I think he said it was called TGI. So I have a quick delivery on this load. I had an eight o'clock appointment, so I had to be here early. Hold on. Excuse me, sir. Hey, excuse me. Hey, do you want me to go on and pop the seal? How do you mean to? This is how it look. Hey, right, do you want me to break the seal and open the doors? Yes. Inside your tandems all the way to the Inside back. Inside my tandems all the way to the back. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I always try to ask before I do it because you don't want to pop that that uh, seal before you ask them. Because it's going to be problems. <laughs> This is how my load look. This video is just gonna be a quick little video. It's not much to this one, this load. I'm in Ohio, so my next load go back to Pennsylvania. I had to buy some fuel in Pennsylvania yesterday. I showed him one about that fuel. It was $2 and I ended up paying after my discount. Two dollars and eighty cents. I'm not used to spending that. I'm used to spending no more than two sixty. But then I came back to Ohio and spent two fifty, so that makes up for at least ten cent of it. I like to average out a week, no more than two two sixty, if I can help it. I don't mean that I can always do it, but you know. I try. This is an old factory. Well, old distribution center. Uh, I have a drop off. Okay. Are you in? I am in 84. And who do you drive for? JB Hunt. Did you slide your tandem? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I will call you once you're done, and your paperwork will be hanging on the board right next to you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, thank you. You have a good one. All right. But yeah, like I was saying, coming out of PA, when y'all buying fuel, look on Trucker Path, right? And look at all of the truck stops that they have, the Pilots and the Flying J. You know, we can buy, we can buy fuel at TAs and we can also buy fuel at Lubbs, but we get our biggest discount and our biggest, I want to say return. Like we get the biggest return, like points and stuff from Flying J and Pilot. And it's more Flying J and Pilots than anything. So a thousand gallons will get you unlimited showers and It'll get you two 14 days of free prime Wi-Fi. A lot of people don't know that, but you can get the prime Wi-Fi because you have to go on the Wi-Fi thing to do that. So, plus we get that with Flying J's and Pilots. So, what I do is I go on Trucker Path and I look through my whole route. And when I'm looking through my whole route, 
it's a part of Trucker Path that you can use that shows you all the fuel prices from point A all the way to point B. Pick one of J.B. Hunt fuel stops. It'll be on your pamphlet. Then pick the lowest out of that fuel stop on your route that you can make it to. And that's how you get your biggest discount. I done got a discount all the way up to, up to, it was $3.15 and I only paid $2. Because saving money is making money, but don't be no fool on saving money that will hurt you. Because a lot of people will say, oh man, I'm driving 58 miles an hour, I'm saving money. Yeah, but you losing a whole lot of time saving money. If you save money in all of these other ways that I explained, then you don't have to do all that. And you can get that extra load in at the end of the week without worrying about it. Because we are one operation truck. You want to get in as many loads you can before that cutoff day. Okay, YouTube. I'm going to show y'all an example of which I meant on picking my truck stops that actually is my fuel stop. Now, keep in mind that I've been with JB Hunt for three years. So, I know what fuel places to go and I, I put hearts on them. That's our actual fuel stop that you can maximize your savings. Maximize your discount. Now, on trucker path because i normally use trucker path when i do this i first i go to places first i put in my my point a to point b and i'm heading back to pennsylvania when i came to ohio i went to the truck stop and filled my tank up so i know i'm going back to pennsylvania so i'm gonna go back and top my tank off because today is monday so I got all week to use this fuel, but I don't want to buy any fuel in Pennsylvania. So first I do places. Then I go to diesel prices. Then I look from point A to point B. Point A, you know Pennsylvania is going to be hot. So Pennsylvania is 349, 350, but it's a spot right here that's 320 and that's where I bought fuel on the load that I am on right now that I picked up in Pennsylvania I bought just enough fuel to get there to this truck stop right here and then I filled my tank up now on the way going back I will top my tank off and I will go back to that fuel stop that is one of our discounted fuel that we can maximize our discount because a lot of JB Hunt drivers and their company trucks goes to that same fuel. Now, you try to get fuel later in the evening because the way that it seems to me, the later it is, the cheaper you can get it. And that's what I meant about picking the right fuel stop to maximize how much you spend. Because if you maximize how much you spend on fuel, you don't actually have to watch your fuel as much. Because you didn't spend much for the fuel to begin with. Good morning, MGI. Uh, yes, ma'am. This is Calvin from door 84. Yes, I'm trying to call you. You are done in your paperwork hanging on the board. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. You're, that's all right. You're welcome. Goodbye. Okay, you too. Time to go and get my paperwork and pull away from here. I've been here about, I want to say an hour. So I haven't been here that long, maybe an hour, hour and a half. So this right here was an okay load. I didn't count my deadhead on this load. 
The only reason why I didn't count my dead head, it's a train track right down there. But the only reason why I didn't count my dead head on this load is because I bought the fuel on last week's check. You have a good day, All man. Right, but I bought the fuel on my last load for my dead head to get close to this load because I picked this load Saturday, Sunday morning. I actually grabbed the load Saturday. No, I actually grabbed the load Saturday night, but I was supposed to pick it up Sunday. So I was gonna dead head close to it. If they didn't have it ready, I would just go sit at the truck stop and wait on it. Oh. All right, y'all have a good day. So that was actually simple. It's actually easy. When you come in here though, it's a it's like a curve. I, I didn't know if I was at the right place or not. So without the deadhead, this load ended up being a dollar and fifty a mile. But with my deadhead, because I deadheaded a while. Sometimes you got a deadhead to pick a load. I know that I know everybody say that, oh no, it's you got to minimize your deadhead because because they don't pay for deadhead, so you need to minimize your deadhead. I don't I don't believe that. I believe that you go out, you look in a radius. My my radius, the forest that I would really deadhead is 200 miles because I know that with the empty with the empty box, I know that I'm gonna get. I bring my fuel. I mean, I bring my miles down to maybe 70. I mean, maybe 67, 65. I'm gonna get nine miles to the gallon. So. I don't mind deadheading 200 miles for a better load, for something that actually pay, instead of instead of just settling for what's closest to me. Now, certain people do certain things. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just telling you what I do. When I get on that board, I normally set it, I normally first set it up, I look at what's on the board before I even set it up that's in that state. Then, then I put in everything that I need to put in and I put in, I first start with 100 miles or I might start with 150 miles. Then I bring myself down and I check how much deadhead it is. And then I go from there. I don't mind deadheading mm -hmm. if I have to. This load that I picked though, mm -hmm. that I'm finna go and get now, it's only 20 miles away. So when you do find something now, I'm not telling you not to find nothing 20, 20 miles away. It's just that don't settle for something cheap just because it's, it's closer. But this is the end of this video. I do appreciate y'all. And I'm going to keep this short. I'm out.